This is one of the two flagship monitors that they've got on show today. It's the MPG 341 CQR X36. Now we've actually already reviewed this screen in full. Check that out. There'll be a link in the description below to that review. This is one of the new fifth gen QD OLED panels that's being released this year. It's got a true RGB stripe subpixel layout. That's one of the headlines of this screen. So they've done away with the triangular layout from previous QD OLED panels in favor of a true RGB stripe. So that will mean you'll get better text clarity and it should largely eliminate any remaining fringing issues that you might see on earlier generation QD OLED panels. So that's one of the key changes with this new 34 inch panel. The other change is that it's got what MSI are calling a dark armor film. So that is a new coating and panel optimization that is designed to improve the black depth of the QD OLED panel in bright room conditions. So it helps to eliminate the purple dinting that you might see on previous QD OLED panels when bright lights are shining on the screen and it helps improve the black depth as well. So that's a really positive change with this new fifth gen panel. The coating also improves the hardness of the panel from a rating of 2H to 3H, which gives 2.5 times better scratch resistance. So to anyone who's been worried about the hardness of the QD OLED panels or then picking up scratches and that kind of thing, that will be a really welcome change as well. So you've got the RGB stripe, you've got the dark armor film. The other change with this new panel is an increase to the refresh rate. This is a 34 inch ultra wide screen, as you can see, 3440 by 1440 resolution with a 360 hertz refresh rate. So that's the highest refresh rate that we've seen from any ultra wide OLED monitor of any type so far, a bump up from their previous 240 hertz that was available on one of MSI's early models, the MPG 341 CQPX. So that came before it. This is now a 360 hertz model. It's also got MSI's OLED Care 3.0 technologies. So all of their latest OLED Care settings, their AI Care sensor, which is built into this small section on the bottom of the screen here. It also features some updates to the panel brightness, thanks to the new fifth gen QD OLED panel that they're using. So you've got a 1300 nits peak brightness for HDR, quite a decent step up, a 30% step up in fact, from previous 1000 nits peak brightness QD OLED panels. MSI are also introducing what they call their uniform luminance mode. So that allows you to customize the HDR curve in the peak 1300 mode and the true black 500 mode. The screen is also certified under basis display HDR 500 true black tier. Again, a step up from the true black 400 tier that we've seen on the previous 34 inch ultra wide monitors. So 1300 nits peak brightness, true black 500 support instead of true black 400. And then for SDR, you've also got an increase in the luminance for SDR. So there's an increase from the 250 nits that came before it on previous gen panels to 300 nits now here as well. So just to recap all of that, there's loads to take in here. 34 inch ultra wide, 360 hertz refresh rate, a new fifth gen QD OLED panel, which includes a true RGB stripe subpixel layout, dark armor film for improved blacks, better scratch resistance, increased HDR brightness, increased SDR brightness, massive range of updates and improvements. If you want to know loads more about this screen, how it performs, how all of those new features perform, do check out our full review. That will be linked in the description below. We featured that ready for the day one announcement of this screen. So check that out for loads more information. This is the other flagship monitor. It's another 34 inch ultra wide QD OLED screen. It's got the same fifth gen QD OLED panel as the other model that we've just talked about. So it's got the RGB stripe pixel layout. It's got the dark armor film, all those HDR enhancements, all that kind of stuff. But this is part of their MEG series, their MEG series. At the moment, it's just called the MEG X. That's the only model name. So MSI have gone from one extreme of mega long uh, product names to now a very short model name. It'll probably have something a little bit longer by the time it's launched. It's still in prototype stage, we're told at the moment. But this model is all about its supposed AI capabilities. So it has six AI features that are built into the screen. It includes things like their AI tracker, which automatically highlights in-game characters. AI goggle, which helps you recover faster from flashbangs. There's AI vision plus, which changes the brightness in certain scenes. Basically, there's six different AI features that are designed to enhance your gaming experience. MSI did make a point of saying that this should probably only be used in offline single player games. You don't want to be accused of cheating in online multiplayer. 
but this model will be showcased again at Computex in May, where it should be in its pretty much final form. Apparently, some of the AI features are going to be enhanced and improved, maybe added to in that time, and then it will be launched to market after Computex. So we'd expect to see it available in the second half of 2026. It's got a new design, it's, it's got a new metal silver foot, and then on the back of the screen, if you come around this way, it's got a metal rear enclosure, RGB lighting, of course, including what MSI are calling Infinity RGB lighting. You've got a metal stand support, metal base, like a new premium design that I think looks really smart and just sets it apart from their MPG and MAG series screens as well. I know some of you are going to be mega excited about this one. This is an NVIDIA G-Sync Pulsar monitor in the flesh. We saw these way back in 2024, I think it was, at Gamescom. NVIDIA were here today and they've told us that these are going to start to become available from the 7th of January. There's going to be four different screens from four different manufacturers. MSI's model is here. It's 27 inches in size. It's got a 1440p resolution. It's an IPS LCD panel, 360 hertz refresh rate. So pretty high-end specs for an IPS gaming LCD, but it features NVIDIA's G-Sync Pulsar technology. So that will offer you a strobing blur reduction backlight mode like their previous ULMB2 mode. But now this can be used at the same time as variable refresh rates. So you've got the best of both worlds, VRR and a blur reduction mode at the same time. NVIDIA told us at the press event earlier that this will offer a motion clarity equivalent to four times the native refresh rate. So on this 360 hertz LCD screen, that's going to be the equivalent of 1440 hertz of motion clarity. So a massive improvement in motion clarity, but for the first time it's going to be able to be used at the same time as variable refresh rates. MSI's model is apparently launching this week at a price of 649 US dollars. So if you've been waiting for NVIDIA G-Sync Pulsar for all this time, you can finally get hold of one of these in the coming weeks. This is the main mini LED monitor that they've got on show at CES this year. It's 27 inches in size. It's got a 5K resolution, which means that you've got a 218 PPI pixel density. So you're going to get really sharp text for Windows or Mac. That would even count as being a retina resolution as far as Apple are concerned. So you get a nice high pixel density for amazing text clarity and image sharpness. It's got a native 165 hertz refresh rate at 5K, but it's also got a dual mode function. So if you want to double that refresh rate, you can bump it up to 330 hertz if you're prepared to drop down to a 2K resolution or a 1440p resolution. So on the one hand, you've got 5K 165 hertz, and on the other, you've got 1440p at 330 hertz. Now this is a mini LED monitor as well. It's got a 2304 zone mini LED backlight that gives you great local dimming capabilities for amazing HDR performance. It's certified under the VESA Display HDR 1400 tier, so you've got at least 1400 nits of peak brightness, and you should have amazing black depth and contrast thanks to the local dimming. This one's built around a rapid IPS LCD screen. It's got adaptive sync for variable refresh rates, including NVIDIA G-Sync compatible support. For connectivity, it's got one HDMI 2.1 input, one DisplayPort 2.1, that's UHBR 13.5 speed, and two USB Type-C ports with DP Alt mode. One has 98 watts power delivery, the other has 15 watts power delivery. One of them might actually just be a data port, it's not particularly clear from the specs. There's also two USB-A ports and one headphone connection as well. This is the only mini LED screen that they've got on show at the event today, 2304 zones, so a really high-end mini LED backlight. They've also got this model here, which is an alternative 5K screen. Now this model doesn't have a mini LED backlight, but it is a 27 inch IPS screen, 5K resolution. At the 5K resolution, it has a native 75 Hertz refresh rate. So that's pretty low, but it does have a quad mode, a dual mode function that offers what MSI are calling quad boost. So you can actually quadruple your refresh rate up to 300 Hertz if you drop down to 1440p. So for certain gaming situations, you've still got the option to have a really high refresh rate as long as you're happy with the lower resolution. In 5K mode, you've got 75 Hertz. So that will be more aimed at general usage, professional applications, that kind of thing, where you've got the high pixel density, 218 PPI, retina level resolution. Uh, so this is another really good option if you want a more cost-effective 5K monitor. Now, MSI tell us that this screen will retail at 499 US dollars. 
Release date is still to be confirmed. It will be sometime in 2026, obviously, probably in H1, we would expect. This one's 499 US dollars. This one, the mini LED model, is going to retail at 899 US dollars. Again, release date to be confirmed. That'll be probably H1 as well, we think. So you've got two options for 5K screens, a mini LED option, 5K 165 hertz, or a non-mini LED option, 5K 75 hertz. But there's a decent price difference there as well. In terms of connectivity for the non-mini LED model, there are two HDMI 2.1 inputs, one DisplayPort 1.4, one USB Type-C with DP Alt mode and 15 watts power delivery. That's a lower spec since that's part of the MAG series. There's two USB-A data ports and a headphone connection as well on that model. This is a new series that MSI are introducing today. It's their Pro Max series. Now there's loads of devices, there's screens, PCs, laptops. One of the things that we want to look at, of course, is the new monitor that's being relaunched. So this is a 27 inch size QD OLED monitor that's designed actually for professional uses. It's got a few changes and a few updates compared with some of their other 27 inch screens that we've seen in the past. Now this is 27 inches in size, it's got a 4K resolution and a 120 hertz refresh rate. So it doesn't offer the kind of refresh rate that you get from their MPG series gaming screens, of course. It's designed more for pro usage with a focus on accuracy and productivity. This is, however, an updated QDOLA panel from Samsung Display. So it's got a 120 hertz refresh rate, but it also features what MSI are calling their dark armor film, or sometimes it's called pure black QDOLED. So this is the film that helps enhance black depth in the presence of ambient lighting, improve panel hardness. So this has got the same 3H hardness rating as the 34 inch ultra wide that we saw earlier. So it's got that new pure black film or dark armor film, whatever you want to call it. And it's also got an added anti-glare low reflection coating. So this is an alternative to the standard semi-glossy QD OLED panel coating. This time it's got a matte anti-glare coating, a bit like what we've seen in the past from some of Samsung Electronics QD OLED monitors. Now MSI tell us that this is actually applied by Samsung Display. So it's an entirely new panel, 27 inches in size, 4K resolution, 120 hertz refresh rate. It's got the pure black dark armor film. It's got the anti-glare low reflection coating. So that makes it a lot easier to use the screen in more well-lit office environments rather than kind of dark gaming rooms and that kind of thing. It's got a few other new features as part of the Pro Max series, including their M color mode for MacBook compatibility. That helps ensure that there's consistent visuals and colors between your Mac device and the screen. So the screen also allows you to do a few fancy things like you can adjust the brightness on your Mac laptop and it will adjust not only the Mac screen itself, but also the monitor. So they sync together. From a Mac device, you also need to use MSI's control center software. That'll be an additional piece of software that allows full control over the settings and the functionality. Um, some of the other things are more integrated into the Windows system itself. It's got MSI's AI care sensor built into the bottom of the screen, all of their OLED care 3.0 technologies and features. For connectivity, it's got two HDMI 2.1, one DisplayPort 1.4, one USB-C with 98 watts power delivery, another USB-C with 15 watts power delivery, and then a bunch of USB-A ports and a headphone connection. So loads of connectivity included there as well. It's also got a KVM switch built in. So you can see here that in the demo, it's set up with a Windows laptop connected, a Mac laptop connected. You can switch between the two. They're both connected by USB-C, so nice and easy. And then you've got a nice white design, fairly unique in this kind of space that goes along with all of their other Pro Max devices, PCs, laptops, and all the, everything else that's on display here at CES. So that's the new Pro Max 27 inch QD OLED monitor. Quite an interesting new alternative if you're looking for something not just for gaming.